Hey there. Welcome to Rested Mama's Talk. We're Chelsea and Mika, your certified pediatric sleep coaches who were once exhausted mamas just like you turned into rested mamas who now have helped hundreds of families get better sleep in three days with an alternative to traditional sleep training. As creators of the Association Fading Sleep Method, we teach a responsive and holistic approach. Our podcast is dedicated to sharing the journey from true parental exhaustion to thriving parenthood. From real sleep tips, from us and other experts to real stories of families just like you, let's get rested. Hello, amazing families. Welcome to another episode of Rested Mama's Talk. We are so happy that you are here. Hello, Mika, my little Hello. best friend over there. How are <laughs> you? <laughs> I'm doing okay. I'm getting ready for Mother's Day. Mother's Day. So Mother's Day is in a few days. And Mika and I have been talking, I guess, the last couple of weeks about Mother's Day just within our company, because obviously we're focused on parents and moms and, and families. We are moms. We are moms. And um, we just wanted to be real for a minute. <laughs> so this is what we're going to do today. So moms, strap yourself in, because what we're going to talk about today is why Mother's Day mm-hmm. Why sucks? (laughs) Why does Mother's Day suck? And we all love our families. We all love our children. We all love our spouses. Yes, disclaimer, disclaimer. This is not a this is not a husband bashing session. No. This is not a child bashing session. Like we're gonna dig in deep a little bit about the core of it, where. Mother's Day doesn't give me the warm and fuzzies no. when I think about it. And it should, well, right? It should. And uh, yes, very big disclaimer. My family out there listening to, this is not a bash on you guys <laughs> at all. This really is just our true feelings on the matter, which I hope that you can relate to. So I remember my first Mother's Day. Do you remember your first Mother's Day, Mika? Yes. Tell me about, tell me about your first mother's day. <laughs> Honestly, I, that one sucked bad. Too. <laughs> I've actually um, never heard about your first mother's day. So it's going to be great. Well, All right. You guys, my, my daughter was born in March. Mm-hmm. The mother's day was just a couple months after, which means she was still baby, baby. First time mom, obviously first mother's mm-hmm. day. I did not know what the hell we were doing about sleep. So I remember my myself wanting to have this. People paint this picture of what Mother's Day should look like, right? The brunt, oh, yeah. the, yeah. the flowers, Beautiful. the gift. And yeah. so in my head on the first Mother's Day is I wanted to want those things, but I was stressed out about having my baby come out and then <laughs> sit at brunch for two hours and not mm-hmm. knowing if she was going to sleep because she was, she was eight weeks. She was little. You, we never left the house. I was still feeling so crappy about my body. Mm-hmm. I wasn't fitting in anything. Mother's day magical. My, my body did not, it took five years to bounce back. Yeah. And we went to this winery that had a great brunch and I'm sure it was beautiful. I remember that my husband had this really big bag for my gift. I'm pretty sure it was a baby bag too. If I, Mm, yeah. Right. But all I can remember is I want to enjoy this, but it's nap time and shit. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna sleep tonight. Oh, I was brunch at this time. I just want to go back and take a nap. No, but Mm -hmm. I want to enjoy this. I can't remember anything else outside that feeling. Like I didn't feel that rushing emotion of, I'm I'm so grateful to be a mother. I'm just so happy right now. I did not feel that. Yeah. Well, especially just because she was just so little. I mean, for, okay, well, for mine, (laughs) it was a little bit different because my daughter was, she was born in September. So she was, 
I guess, however, nine months old, um, when Mother's Day came around. So she was at a really fun schedule. Yeah. Yeah. She was <laughs> <a> nap schedule <laughs> things. And this is after we had already figured out her sleep and cause that was really rough for the five month first five months. Um, so it was a better phase in her life, but I just remember, I, I, I'm pretty sure we did something with my mom and also my sisters in town too, but the feeling I remember is just like pressure, like pressure that this should like be like such a fun day and that I should be feeling these, this like great amount of like excitement and joy for mother's day. And I, you know, I love my daughter, but it just, it felt a little arbitrary. I don't, that's like the best way that I can describe it. Like it was, I should be feeling these ways, but like, it wasn't really what I was wanting to be doing. (laughs) Um, And it wasn't really, it was more kind of a celebration for everyone else for me, rather than me celebrating me. Um, I do remember too, um, my husband is, is wonderful. And I remember pregnant. So I was just, I don't even know. I think I was probably like four months pregnant. Um, when my first quote unquote mother's day happened, like when I was pregnant, but I didn't actually have her. And he had like put this like a little card and this like little thing in her crib. And like, we hadn't even finished her nursery yet. And I remember thinking like, oh my gosh, if this is how exciting I feel, I can only imagine what it's going to feel like on my first actual Mother's Day when she's actually here. And then it just was like, Womp, womp. Womp, womp. <laughs> it's like exactly what it was and so it was just like okay cool mother's day <laughs> you know um so that yeah I just that was what I can remember it's just like also just like the comparing thing I think too it's always just hard when um you also are like, you're in the same city as your mom and also trying to figure out that balance and also trying to celebrate with your family. It's just, it's a lot. So that's a whole nother topic that I see yeah, everywhere. Yeah. Um, and I, I am, I don't know. I'm, I don't know what I want on mother's day. I want to, I want to say first, I was thinking about this topic because I don't know why mother's day coming up and this is going to be my seventh mother's day and I don't get super excited about it and I wonder sometimes if I am psychologically preparing myself for a letdown and so I don't have expectations but then I really do have expectations (laughs) right know what those expectations are and then every year it feels like a disappointment and is not my husband's fault and I was thinking why why do I not enjoy it as much as I want to? And I remember the it was the second Mother's Day, maybe. And you had mentioned that thing about living in the same city. And I think it was the first time that it had been brought up. Oh, have Mother's Day, you know, with mm-hmm. your mother-in-law. And I'll be honest, I had some very strong feelings about not sharing that. Yeah. And my mom luckily is a little different. She, she kind of has that separation of units. Mm-hmm. So we always set, we always kind of celebrated it separately the week before or another night, but Justin comes from a different family and, yeah. and they're smaller. My family's huge, right? So she could celebrate with a circus if she wanted to, because we have a bajillion people in our family. <laughs> His family small. So I kind of get it. But then it was like, no, this is mine. And like the last thing I want to do is spend it with anybody else. <laughs> and that's, that's one complication. Um, I mean, you're, you're sharing your mother's day this year, aren't you? I am sharing my mother's day this year. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Okay. So, um, I have, I have a couple of sisters. Um, one of my sisters lives here in in the same city and, um, we are close and we're really close. We are going to be getting together though, me and my sister and my mom and our families and it, you know, it'll be really great. I think Mika, if I had to nail it down to one thing of like why I feel like Mother's Day sucks. Okay. When I was thinking about this, I was like, what is the one feeling why it sucks is because I just feel guilty all the time because my kids are so sweet and they're like 
want, they give me these beautiful, nice little homemade gifts and they really are precious. And my, my kids are so excited for mother's day. Okay. Like even today, my little boy, he was like, mommy, mother's day is in two days. And like, you know, they're making it a big deal at school and it is like so precious. So then I have, I have that, but then I like feel guilty because in all honesty, you know what I really want for mother's day. I really just want to be alone in my room and (laughs) watch Netflix and um, just like if I'm really wanting like a day to myself to like celebrate myself and my day, I think I just really want some quiet time. And then I sit there and I feel guilty because like, okay, I'm like that mom who like doesn't necessarily want to be with their family on Mother's Day when like that's the whole purpose. And so it's like this internal struggle because it's not like I don't enjoy those things. But But here's the dilemma with that. Yeah. Dilemma. The dilemma is without quiet time, how do you have capacity in your mind to celebrate yourself? Yeah, you don't. You don't. Which you help me a lot with all the time, Mika. (laughs) (laughs) You guys, if if, if you don't know, Mika really helps me with my boundaries in life. (laughs) And so she's, she's wonderful for that. Really helpful in my life coach time uh, for for me with boundaries. But I think that that with, um, and that kind of actually goes back to sleep too, because if, like quiet time can mean lots of different things for different people. Your quiet time, Mika, like you just like to go to sleep. For me, when I have my quiet time, like I want to sit there and watch a show. But that's not you. Your your you time is you sleep. <laughs> Which- I literally have to shut down and power up like like an iPhone that's gone to empty. <laughs> And, and, but when I think about it, it's like, so Justin and I had a talk about this yesterday and tell me about this talk. Yeah. I'm going to tell you about this talk because I kind of called him out and, um, and I did misunderstand him, but he had said something like, Hey, what, you know, what are the plans on Saturday? I need to go to the grocery store to get your groceries for the breakfast that he's making. (laughs) Her mother's day and in my head I'm like I'm paying a tax <laughs> <laughs> I'm having to do this extra piece of work so that and I like, could get the gift and <laughs> I, 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 I like yeah. I'm like then I don't want the breakfast <laughs> like I would just rather have that extra time well he was like no no I just meant like, you know I didn't want you to feel like you had something or you wanted to do, do something and it was, anyways we had this talk and I said hey I just want to let you know that I've been thinking about some stuff and I really want to be excited for Mother's Day, but you can probably feel from my vibe and my face that I'm not. And I'm sorry. And I was thinking about it and we were talking. I was like, because if I had to tell you exactly what I wanted, Mm -hmm. it was everything that contradicted each other. Like, I want you guys to be in the room, but I don't want you to talk. (laughs) <laughs> like I want, I want just the cuddles and the kisses. Are you statue sitting in the room? <laughs> I want all the kisses and the hugs. But as soon as someone starts crying or yelling, like I want them to leave the room. Oh my gosh, Mika! Thoughts in my head put into words. <laughs> like, well, that's kind of really hard. And I was like, I know, and it, it that would be weird. And I'm yeah. like, I want, I want the breakfast but I want it to go a specific way. And that's not possible in motherhood. And so it's like, what is the most possible thing? And then I shut down and I'm like, well, I would like to be alone. Mm-hmm. And then I, I, I'm same thing for me. I feel guilty. It's like, but the one thing that made me a mother, well, not the one thing, the three things, <laughs> the one thing <laughs> that made me a mother, I don't actually want to be there, but I, I do think it goes back to, yeah. you really want to celebrate yourself. And it's not that you want to be alone. It's just, we are overstimulated the whole life mm-hmm. day. There is no other time to just give yourself a pat on the back because there is no bouquet or brunch that is going to be good enough to make you feel like you're a competent mother. It's not yeah, nothing. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that is, it maybe is a learning situation for everyone it is also just to speak up a little bit more about what you really need and want and whether that is 
going and to a movie by yourself for two hours or whether it is going to get a new book or whether it is you saying, I just really need to figure out how to get better sleep. (laughs) If that's like the one thing that you really want for Mother's Day, then that is great. And I think that you should own that. But I think that you should also own uh, outside of Mother's Day, right? Like when you are really needing those things to be able to take care of yourself, but also to celebrate yourself as well, um, just as much as we do on Mother's Day. Um, We um, did a, on our Instagram, we did a a post, I I guess it was maybe a week ago where we were like, you know, if you could have anything for Mother's Day, like, what would you do? What would you have? And it was really fun to read the comments, but what was the number one thing that all the moms said, Mika? (laughs) Sleep. Sleep. I mean, you're talking to, I mean, I could honestly sleep for 12 hours if I had a chance. The mm-hmm. only thing that gets me out of bed when I do have that opportunity is, I mean, I get sore because I'm in bed for so long. <laughs> <hard. laughs> I get but, sore. I get my sore. leg hurts. <laughs> yeah, my leg hurts. Um, you know, obviously that's why we're here. Chelsea and I are pediatric sleep experts and we we have our own approach, association fading. So if you don't know that already and you just happen to stop on this podcast, make sure to head to our Instagram or below in the description and check it out. But we are sleep advocates. I cannot, I am high sleep needs as an adult. Me too. Very high sleep needs. Super high. And I think it yeah. said, I think I read something on Instagram that said women by far. I oh, wait, you sent me this. Yeah, it was I yeah. This. <laughs> it was a it was a real and it was like actually talking about how there was like scientific evidence to show that women are actually higher sleep needs than men. More sleep than men. Yeah. And it was like, well, duh. And it just made so much more sense because it was talking about um did I talk about something? Oh gosh, I want to look back at it now, but um even um, just because of like how much more civilization, like the female body and also just female. We are yeah. firing on all synapses all the time. And we need that restoration a little bit more. Men are really good at focusing on one thing at a time and expending energy enough for just that one thing. We don't know how to do that. I would actually be surprised if there weren't just like a higher percentage of women that were ADD. <laughs> <laughs> Because I've been seeing, yeah. you know and, and adults, and adults think, specifically, yeah. yeah, adults, yeah. yeah, adults specifically, and I feel like, I feel like Instagram is telling me something because I've also been seeing a lot more of those girls. <laughs> but yeah, get I, more so sleep, my, get more sleep. <laughs> yeah. My thing, my thing that I do for myself is I play tennis. That is new for me. Let's talk about reinventing ourselves. Mm-hmm. Every part of mm-hmm. of motherhood, but we. We had a lesson this morning or there, I go to a clinic and they play these fun games and there's this one game that we played. We're all women. Um, and we could not get the rules for the effing life of us. Like it was just such a complicated game about like hitting the ball and then handing your racket to the person behind you. But then if you missed it, you had to go up to the front and then you had to stand with one foot and hold a racket and try to get a volley. And it was so, it was so much and we, we couldn't get it. And the coach was like, guys, I teach this to seven-year-olds who do this just fine. And I was like, hey, a seven-year-old just needs to pee, poop, eat, play. <laughs> yeah. Is it, there's no more. <laughs> there's nothing else about. in their brain. Yeah. When they hit that ball, we're also thinking about, oh, when's my next appointment? What are we going to have for lunch today? Yeah. And yeah, I just, is is this person going to do the same thing as me? Do I need to go help out that person next to me? Like that's that's exactly what you're doing. Going back to you, there's no room in our mind a lot to be able to introspect. Mm -hmm. And, um, and I hope you get that for mother's day. I think that's really like, you guys all want rest and we want rest too, but really it's because we're empty a lot of the times. And we don't get that quiet time to celebrate ourselves. Yeah. I think that my one wish is just that. I think that my other, um, I guess, okay, and kind of giving you permission to you guys, like if if you're saying and you're listening to this and you're like, man, the one thing I really want is just 
sleep, then that is absolutely okay. And that is why, you know, we do what we do. And please look at our webinar as well. If you go on our Instagram page or our website, you can find our web our webinar really easily. And we go through exactly what we're all about and what it looks like to get really better sleep quickly um, and in a way that is responsive for you and for your family. So please be sure to check that out. But, you know, please know that Mika and I also are thinking of all of you on this Mother's Day and we're keeping it real <laughs> like we always do. Um, but please celebrate yourself and it is okay to be honest with yourself too, as you approach this wonderful weekend of Mother's Day. So Mika, thank you so much for chatting as always. You. And you guys stay rested. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Thanks for listening to this episode of Rested Mama's Talk. To stay connected and get more sleep tips from us, follow us on our Instagram page at rested underscore mama underscore happy underscore baby. To find out how we're helping families around the world get better sleep, check out our website, restedmamahappybaby.com or chat with us directly to learn more about our programs. Chat with you next time.